About 10 years ago, I was in two car accidents within about a week of each other. Uh, the first accident, I was rear-ended, and the second accident, about five days later, I was hit from the front. After both accidents, I had whiplash, a lot of pain in the neck. Um, I went to many different doctors for different treatments, chiropractor, physical therapy. Um, the pain never really fully resolved. Over the years, I had other treatments like injections in my neck to try and relieve the pain. Um, then it came to the point where I started having a lot of pain in my arm as well that was very debilitating. Well, it was actually very difficult because you know I was a mother with two children working in a professional, very demanding career and trying to kind of keep up with the kids and keep up with work. Many times I'd be sitting in the office working at the computer and you know, just my neck couldn't even handle being at a keyboard all day long. Um, and then to have to go home and clean up after the kids, cook dinner, laundry, you, know, you name it, I was having to do it. And actually, you know, I was a single parent for most of the time as well, so it wasn't like I had additional help at home. So I kind of just got used to being in pain pretty much all of the time um, and trying to kind of manage the pain with either medication, I tried acupuncture, um, you name it, I probably tried it at some point over the years. So I was living with this pain probably for eight to 10 years. Um, you know, the accidents happened in 2001 and you know, I just reached a point where, you know, around about 2007 where I said, well, you know, I guess I'm just going to have to live with this. And I kind of resigned myself that the problem wasn't going to be fixed. I first found out about stem cell arts. Um, I was actually at a chiropractor for, uh, actually with my son for a different reason. And I was talking with the chiropractor about my condition because I was having a lot of pain in my, going down my arm and in my shoulder. And he recommended that I go to stem cell arts and see Dr. Wagner. When I first met with Dr. Wagner, he asked me a lot about my condition. He took the time to get to know me and what had happened to me. My situation was a little bit complex because I had multiple pain areas, uh, my neck, my shoulder, and my arm, and it wasn't clear from the beginning exactly what was causing the pain. And you know, he said right from the beginning that you know, there is the possibility that there's more than one thing wrong with you. And for me at the time, it was actually very refreshing because I had had other professionals try to narrow things down to one specific thing. Um, and I think that's part of the reason my, my issues weren't resolved because other professionals didn't necessarily take the time to truly diagnose what was going on with me. Um, as it turns out, I did have more than one problem. I had an issue with instability in the vertebra of my neck as well as an issue with cartilage damage in my shoulder. And Dr. Wagner was able to treat um, both issues over time. Um, the treatments actually, you know, what I liked about the whole treatment concept was it's really taking things from your own body and putting it back into your own body. So you don't have to worry about drug interactions. I'm a person who actually has a lot of allergies, including medication allergies, and I've had severe reactions to things before in the past. So for me, I really wanted a solution that would not pose other risks um, to other aspects of my personal health. So really the whole concept is, you know, I, I actually have multiple treatments over a period of time. So the one thing is, Dr. Wagner explained from the beginning, it's not gonna just fix itself with one treatment. You have to really get on board with the program um, and let's see how your body reacts to the treatments and then that will kind of guide how long and how many treatments you need to have. So basically, you know, it's really a matter of getting blood draw, taking blood from you and taking your own um, platelets from the blood and concentrating them and putting them back in. So conceptually for me, it was you know, a pretty straightforward process, um, again, without introducing foreign substances into your body. Um, so you know, after the first treatment, I was, you know, I was honestly, I was a little bit nervous because somebody's gonna take 
you know, a bunch of your blood, and then you're going to have all these injections where your platelets are put back into you. Um, and, you know, Dr. Wagner was up front and told me what it would feel like. Um, it's kind of, you know, the first treatment was a little bit uncomfortable, but honestly, over time, your body kind of gets used to going through the process. Um, so over time, it, it's really, you know, a very familiar process um, and your body acclimates to it. So over time, it's the level of discomfort in the procedures themselves goes down significantly. Um, in my particular case, I actually had the um, PRP um, process and then I also had the stem cell process because my shoulder, because of the cartilage damage, you know, needed a little bit more oomph to kind of get me over the hump where I could actually uh, get more functionality back. Um, so you know, that procedure was a little bit different because they actually took bone marrow out of my hips and then they took the concentrated stem cells from the bone marrow and put those back in my shoulder. Um, I had that done about a year ago. Before I had the procedure done, I could really, you know, only lift my shoulder a little bit. Now you can see I can actually raise my arm and I'm doing a whole lot more now than I was able to do before. Um, for me, I got to the point where once I got my basic functionality of daily living back, so with my shoulder, you know, I had difficulty getting dressed, I had difficulty making a bed, I had difficulty cooking, putting away the dishes, anything that involved lifting my arm was difficult. Um, over time, you know, I got that basic daily living functionality back, and for me, I, I had always been very athletic. Um, you know, now I'm close to 50 years old and really, you know, missed a lot of the athletic activities that I had pursued um, before I had all of these injuries. So I reached the point, I talked to Dr. Wagner and said, well, I want to be able to do more. I don't want to just be able to do the dishes and the laundry. Um, so in many ways, I feel like I've gotten my life back. Um, this past winter, I was able to ski again for the first time in probably more than five or six years. Uh, it was something that I've always enjoyed doing and was able to go out and do that with my daughter. Um, I've also signed up for a 5K run with my entire family uh, in honor of my dad who passed away of pancreatic cancer. Um, I'm doing that in June and I'm, I'm just so happy to be able to be running again because I was always, a, I ran track in high school and running has always been an important part of my life. Um, I'm also paddling in a dragon boat festival tomorrow in DC, uh, which is a new hobby for me, but something, you know, I love water sports. I, I like to sail. I like to kayak. Um, so just being able to be out on the water again doing water sports is a great experience for me. Um, you know, when you deal with having conditions that where you have chronic pain for such a long time and you're not able to do the activities that bring you enjoyment, it really impacts your outlook on life and you know how you interact with people. Um, because you're always the one who, well, I can't do that because physically I can't participate. So for me, um, being able to get my use of my arm back and to not have my neck be in pain all the time has enabled me to re-engage with uh, many different activities that for me are important to my life and bring me a lot of enjoyment. And also, you know, the social aspect of being able to participate with family members and friends. You know, the procedures that I had were actually not covered by health insurance. And some people would question, was it really worth it to spend that much money? The way I looked at it was, what value would you place on being able to ski, being able to play racket sports, I've always played squash, it's something I enjoy. Um, for me, being able to do daily activities without being in pain, I looked at it as this is a way for me to get my life back on track and to engage in what I enjoy. And the money is completely worth it. Um, you know, I don't know, you know, I don't know how you quantify um, feeling good 
but uh, for me it's worth, uh, it's a small price to pay um, to be able to do the things that you enjoy and actually be pain free. And I, I just can't thank stem cell arts enough really for, for changing my life.